there isn't a ton to review and uh, nothing really exciting about surge protectors. So this is going to be a bit more informational about surge protectors in general and uh, what, what you need to be looking out for. Yes, they do differ in terms of design. This one is a little bit wider than most because it's uh, meant for cable management. Um, they will differ in terms of the number of plugs. Uh, a normal one will be probably about two thirds of this size. Um, some come with USB ports uh, for your phone and things of that nature. Some of them will have um, connections for your telephone and also your cable wires. All things that could be protected, not necessarily necessary. Some of your cheaper models will not come with indication lights to tell you whether or not it's um, act actually being, you know, working in terms of uh, protection. For those of you who don't realize, these do not last forever. They can last anywhere from a year to five years or even more. It just depends on what, you know, what your situation at home is in terms of electricity and your surges. And also, we're going to get into this, what your rating is on the actual unit. This one also happens to tell you whether or not the, uh, you know, the outlet that you're plugged into is grounded or not, which can be helpful. So it, going back to what I said, and obviously also the cord uh, distance, <laughs> that's the other variation. This happens to be a six foot, they come in up to 12 feet. Um, so going back to in terms of the, the amount of protection, that's rated in terms of joules. And um, before I knew about anything about surge protectors, I thought they were all pretty much equal. I just used them as a way to uh, basically extend my outlets, right? And that's really a lot of people use them, but they do serve a function surges happen inside the home from occur or or start from inside the home they also um, occur from or start outside the home outside the home would be things like um, lightning or from your utility company um, if they're uh, if, if they actually just have an outage in your whole area once they turn back the electricity there will be potentially a surge throughout your house throughout your neighbor's houses Likewise, if a, a transformer blows out anywhere near your house, you turn that back on or it goes out, there can be a surge or there can be a draw. Things inside your home, turning on your air conditioner, that can cause a, um, a surge as it t tries to draw an extra amount of electricity. And also, uh, heat, space heaters, those little electric heaters, um, when they turn, when you first turn it on, those draw a lot of electricity. And then when you shut it off, there's actually extra electricity in the line because it's, it was drawing, you know, 1,800, 2,000, 4,000 watts. All of a sudden you shut it off, there's an extra a bit of um, electricity in the line. So one of the misconceptions is that um, these protectors will protect you from lightning strikes. And you see a lot of reviews and you even see people showing their fried um, protect surge protectors and they claim, oh, it didn't work, didn't work. Well, there are no surge protectors that are gonna stop a lightning strike. Um, the only way to stop that is to put a surge protector on the whole house or, uh, and, and, and basically that, instead of being at, the surge protector being at the outlet level, it'll be right at your, um, the box where your electricity comes into or right, be right between that and the meter from your electric company. This will protect you, surge protectors will protect you from everything that occurs from inside the house. And potentially, depending upon what it is, um, stuff that comes from your um, utility company, like we spoke about before, if a transformer blows out or if they start up their electricity again after, uh, after being out for a while. So in terms of um, how much they protect you, that is measured in joules. This unit happens to be 3,550. You can get these surge protectors anywhere down to like 200 joules. And so you say, well, how many joules do I need? So if you read articles, they'll suggest that anything that's really important to you, such as your TV, your hi-fi equipment, um, anything really expensive should have a, a joule rating of 2,000 or more, should be protected by 2,000 or more. So what, what, why is a joule protector, why is a higher rating better or why is it necessary? Well, first of all, that's the maximum amount of surge that it can protect against. But also, every time you get a surge, whether it be small or large, and, it, and this unit does its job, it actually breaks, like, there's components in here that sort of break, and they're supposed to break. That's what uh, allows them to, to, to protect your equipment. And so, let's say you get a strike of, uh, you know, worth 200 joules, 
if this started out as a 2,000 joule um, protecting unit, it will now only have 1,800 joules of protection left. And so with each uh, subsequent uh, surge, you're basically going to wear down your uh, surge protector. And that's why they don't have um, an unlimited lifespan. And nobody can tell you exactly how long it'll last because they don't know how many surges you're going to get in your home or your apartment um, <clears throat> uh, or how quickly they'll, you'll get them. So that's why it's actually helpful to have these little indicators to know when they're working and when they're not. And some of these um, units, such as the Belgian, will stop working um, or at least you know, temporarily start working if, if you're not being protected so that you know to uh, either, some of them can be reset, some of them can't, or you can have to switch, switch it out. Um, there's a main button on here. I think this has a 15 amp fuse in it somewhere, or at least that's where it, when you'll have to reset it. Um, so that's Jules. Another thing you'll read about or, or should know about is something called the clamp voltage, and that you want something that's a, a, a maximum, like, I guess, 330 volts. So that's the voltage at which point the this will actually start to um, to work and, and protect you. Um, what else? Some of these will claim, Belkin claims it, AP, uh, I think um, AAA also, and some of these will they offer you, oh, $200,000 protection. Well, forget about that, because if you read the fine print, as I started to, it's ridiculous with you know that what you have had signed up for the hassle that you're gonna have to go through the filing it's almost worthless um, but do keep your receipt if you want to go through the headache so this particular model also has the um, the inputs for telephone to protect those it's got the cable management uh, it has a flat plug some of them do some of them don't it's just an added feature um, at the end of the day I got this it's 3550 joules and I paid around $16 on Amazon on sale I don't know if it's still on sale. I'll put the link below. Um, but if you can get that kind of, I mean, anything over 2000 is worth it. A, because it'll protect you against any large surge, but also any kind of, you know, multiple surges. You don't have to worry about replacing it after, um, you know, several years, ideally. Obviously, depending upon where you live, as I, that caveat I said before. But um, any any company, whether it's Belkin, APC, Triplite, those are all well-known brands. I don't recommend going with a foreign brand that you don't know, just because and GE is another good one. But um, you know, look, if you're taking the time and, and putting some money into protecting your valuables, why go with an untrusted brand that uh, may or may not work? Um, you know, there are there are electronic components in here. Those um, clamp uh, values do differ among some of these, and so um, you, you want to check those out. But um, look. I'm not an electrician, but if you have any questions, I'm not an engineer, if, uh, I will do my best to help you. Please put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this at all helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to see more, subscribe. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you soon.